The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just, then they will not care how devout you have been, but will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods, but unjust, then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you will be gone, but will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. No one was ever injured by the truth, but he who persists in self-deception and ignorance is injured. Very little is needed to make a happy life, it is all within yourself, in your way of thinking. Say to yourself in the early morning, I shall meet today ungrateful, violent, treacherous, envious, uncharitable men. All of these things have come upon them through ignorance of real good and ill. I can neither be harmed by any of them, for no man will involve me in wrong, nor can I be angry with my kinsman or hate him, for we have come into the world to work together. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. You always own the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. Our anger and annoyance are more detrimental to us than the things themselves which anger or annoy us. Adapt yourself to the life you have been given, and truly love the people with whom destiny has surrounded you. Most of what we say and do is not essential. If you can eliminate it, you'll have more time, and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Remember that man lives only in the present, in this fleeting instant, all the rest of his life is either past and gone, or not yet revealed. Why should we feel anger at the world? As if the world would notice? Life is short. Do not forget about the most important things in our life, living for other people and doing good for them. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face, and know them for what they are. Humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them, or learn to bear them. Remember, matter, how tiny your share of it. Time, how brief and fleeting your allotment of it. Fate, how small a role you play in it. Failing to understand, the workings of one's own mind is bound to lead to unhappiness. A person's life is dyed with the color of his imagination. Oh, everything that happens happens as it should, and if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so. If you are pained by any external thing, it is not this that disturbs you, but your own judgment about it. Reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. A loss is nothing else but change, and change is nature's delight. You have to assemble your life yourself, action by action. The secret of all victory lies in the organization of the non-obvious. Your life is an expression of all your thoughts. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. 
A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. Every man's life lies within the present, for the past is spent and done with, and the future is uncertain. The main thing we were made for is to work with others. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others, the happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control, but the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them know anything about the subject. It is possible to depart from life at this moment. Have this thought in mind whenever you act, speak, or think. Dig within. There lies the wellspring of good. Never act without purpose and resolve, or without the means to finish the job. Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future, too. A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. Bear in mind, that the measure of a man is the worth of the things, he cares about. Nothing that goes on in anyone else's mind can harm you. It never ceases to amaze me, we all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. To understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds, and examine their pursuits and aversions.